you spend enough time in the outdoors, you're gonna need one of these eventually. Okay, real quick, if you've never been to my channel before but you wanna learn how to go ultralight sensibly and comfortably, click subscribe so you don't miss anything. So in over 2,000 miles of hiking and sea kayaking, I've never actually needed my sewing kit. I've always had one, but I have come across two people in that time that needed to repair their equipment. The first was a repair that I actually did on a broken foot box. Um, I just reached out to her, it's still going strong. And then the second one was uh, at the end of last summer, a friend of mine needed to repair his backpack straps. I was actually leaving him that day and that was gonna be a long repair, so I just gave him my entire kit. I've never got it back from him, so tonight I'm rebuilding my sewing kit and we're gonna go through what's in that. So the first is the thread that you use. You can go to like your mom's sewing kit, like her sewing box and get like cotton thread out of there and that's absolutely fine but it may not be completely strong for all the like maybe some of the more comprehensive repairs that you have to do some of the tougher repairs that you have to do when i was thinking about redoing this kit i remembered back to a, a company called rugged thread i met them out in uh, pct days out in cascade locks uh, at the sort of festival for PCT hikers. They were there at their kiosk fixing everything under the sun. And so I reached out to them to ask them what kind of thread did they use when they're making repairs. For the majority of all of the repairs, they use something called Tex 40 thread. That's not the brand. Tex is just a word, like a fancy word for the thickness of the thread. So Tex 40 is just a thickness of the thread and it's used in all of their sleeping bags, their outerwear, and their tent repairs. So I set out to find some really nice threads. So I found this 100% polyester thread uh, made by a company named Guterman out of Germany. It's made in Germany. Um, I will probably have this bobbin of thread the rest of my life. Um, and it should be a good kind of all around thread for any of the repairs that you need to do out in the field. Okay, so let's get into how I organized the whole kit. Okay, here's the stuff you need. We've already been over the thread, and the first thing we'll go over is cardboard. You can use any cardboard you want. I happen to find this thin type of cardboard, but just like dig around somewhere and find some cardboard. Next are needles. So needles are kind of a big deal because you want the eye of the needle, which is right here, to be large so you can easily thread the thread through that needle. You know, say it's uh, dark and you're making a repair like at the end of the day or your hands are cold, it is really bad to try to thread a thread through a very small eyelet. Uh, so get these get these needles with big eyes. I have these linked below, uh, so check those out. Specifically ones that have large eyes. You also want needles that are relatively large. You may be pushing these through some you know, thicker fabrics or fabrics that are doubled over or even tripled over. So don't get small needles. In this, in this sense, if you're gonna carry one needle out into the woods, it should probably be a larger needle. Something else that you have to think about when pushing needles through fabric is what you're going to push through. You can bring a thimble with you, um, but to me, if you just use maybe the, uh, the, the handle of your spoon or the handle of your toothbrush to push the top of that needle through the fabric, um, that will be just as good as, as a thimble. But if you want to bring a thimble too, uh, go ahead and bring that, throw that into your kit as well. So the final product looks like this. You can see the needle up here uh, is stuck into the cardboard. I've wound the thread around it and I've put a little cleat in the cardboard uh, for the needle to kind of uh, get started in. And yeah, that's the, that's the kit. There's not much, you know, drama about it. Uh, the needle uh, sticks into the cardboard really well. It's not going anywhere. Uh, I, I purposely left the needle out a little bit just so you can see it. I would push that in a little bit more. And in the past, for the past, I think, three or four years, that's how I've carried my sewing kit. So let's weigh it. Okay, so let's weigh this in grams. And it actually isn't even registering on the scale. So you, you can see there's really no reason not to bring this thing. Um, it's not even registering on the scale. I guess I'll call this one gram on my lighter pack list. Uh, there's one option for the kit. Honestly, when I was thinking, and this is, the, this is the way I've carried it for years, but honestly, those needles that I ordered that I have linked below, they came in this vial thing. Um, so here I have a needle with thread wrapped around it, and I also have a, uh, a safety pin in there. If you want to use this vial thing, uh, you can too, and let's see how much this weighs. So that's four grams. Uh, so that's hardly anything as well. If you want to do your kit this way, uh, this vial is very, very light as well. Okay, so there's two very lightweight options for sewing kits. So now I want to hand it off to you. Tell me what you guys have in your sewing kits. 
um, whether you think there should be more, whether you should have different types of thread. There's also different needles, like hooked needles. Uh, tell me if you have those. Uh, just let me know what kind of like you're, you're using in your sewing kits. I always get good ideas off of uh, the people that watch my videos. If you want to get the thread or the needles that I talked about and that little vial thing, um, there's affiliate links below. That definitely helps out my channel. Uh, if you use them, I thank you a lot. Um, it's a huge thing for me. Uh, so yeah, check those out. Also, if you want to like, favorite, and click the notification bell on my channel, you'll get to know whenever I upload. Um, hopefully that will be more in the future. Uh, I'm in a graduate school program, like I mentioned often. I don't have much time to upload now, but I definitely will in the future. And yeah, um, I am actually have a, over 50 video ideas that I want to uh, bring to you guys, but I just don't have the time right now. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.